All right, today we're tying a pink bend back. It's a Clouser style kind of fly. Um, and what we're tying them on are these megabyte uh, hooks from Mustard. Um, a mate, Dave Bradley from um, Australian Fly Fishing Outfitters, showed me a barrel bomb he uses with great success up north. Um, the great advantage of these hooks it's on a worm hook. Um, the gape is quite large, quite big upturn hook, and you can just roll them through the timbers and weed, and they don't foul up as much. So what we're going to do, we're just going to tie this thread on, just like so. A couple of whip finishes as. We normally do it. What we're using are these uh, tungsten hourglass eyes. They are um, quite good. Being so heavy, you can get down quite quick and drag them along the bottom, uh, especially for these flathead. Just using the medium size in that. What we're going to do is just Tied on the shank of the hook, like so. All we're doing is going figure eights around. We'll go one direction, the other dire direction. Make sure it's on the right uh, line. And what we do, just to lock it in, we go around the base of, of the eyes. It pulls the actual the thread in, and it just locks it that little bit more. So when you're happy with the position, half hitch it off, and I like to, just to make sure it's all good, using the Clear Cure Goo Hydro, just whack that on it, just give it a chance to penetrate through the, the actual thread, hit it with the UV light. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're using a synthetic um, flash, so that tends to get caught around this, this shank of the hook at the back. So to try and stop that happening, all I'm doing is using some, some pink um, bucktail. We're just gonna cut a small amount off. That's just going to hold that material up a little bit and give it a good base. Just trim that off to for it. I'm going to just lightly tie it in. I just do a couple of figure eights around, around like so. Half hitch just to secure it. Just make sure you're happy with the way that sits up. See how that's sitting up and it's actually going up over the barb? That's what we want to do. Just so our, UV, our synthetic material can um, doesn't get fouled up a lot. Uh, what we've got as well, Graham from EJ Todd's has sent me up some, um, it's just a, uh, just Add H2O. Really, really good. Steve Farrer, um, everyone, a lot of people should be familiar with it. It's a very good material. Um, this has got UV uh, flash in it. So as we know that uh, this, the fish tend to see UV a lot under the water, this product's great. We've got chartreuse. This grey, which is one of my favourite colours. Shrimp. But today, we're using the pink. Just take it out. I'm only going to, it's going to be a sparse tied fly. So, you know, that much off it is fine. Just remember, because we're doubling it over and cutting it in half, that um, you don't need a huge amount. So it's really, you're going to get double what you cut off. What we're doing, lightly grabbing the, the, the material 
and just tapering that edge so it's not a clear cut at the back. Place it on, just a couple of binds, bend that one back and you know, just a couple of figure eights up over those eyes just to lock it in. It's a quite quick fly to, to tie up and whip finish, cut the thread off. What we're going to do, I'm going to put that hydro on again, let it penetrate into the thread. Put a little bit more on. What you can do, just let it go back into that material a little bit more. See how it's kicking up over that hook? It, um, it can act as like a, a weed guard as well. So we'll hit it with the UV. Just like that. And that is set. You can actually see, when you put that UV torch on, you can actually see the, the UV flashing in there. The fish will, um, fish will love that. So there you have it. That's just a bend back style clouds of fly on, on the, um, the worm hook. Ready to go chase some um, flathead. So just remember, all this material is available um, at all your local, local tackle suppliers. Just look on the EJ Todd website, and that will give you a good rundown of what material is available. If your tackle store doesn't have it, um, ask them to order it in. So what we're going to be doing is uh, just doing a lefties loop knot. This will allow the fly to um, move around a lot more and, and jig up and down. So it's a simple process. Where are you going to go? Same colour? Yeah. I got pink. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, what I'm doing, I'm actually covering the whole of this sand bank. I've started to the left, I've worked the way into the middle, and then if I don't get a fish, the next cast will be on to the right side. You want to cover the whole sand bank to get uh, the best, best um, available chance of uh, catching one of these good fish. All the strips are. Uh, you mix it up, longer little strips, and then you um, can do little jigs to get that fly going. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, really not more like it. Alright, so just just um, casting in these little shallows along the sandbanks and we just hooked up to a nice little flathead. Oh, not little flathead, nice flathead. Just jumped out of the boat to oy, try and land him. 
that's on that little pink bend back with the um, uh, Steve Farrow UV. As you can see, oh, beautiful fish. Try and lift him up so she doesn't. There you go. There you have it. A nice, beautiful flathead on that little bend back pink clouser style fly um, with the Steve Farrow UV. Absolutely beautiful fly and beautiful fish. Perfectly hooked in there. We're using um, 12 pound Sunline uh, leader and I've got a, um, an airflow, airflow floating um, line on with the clear tip. Very, very good. So what we'll do, we'll just get that hook out and we're going to um, release her. Right, there she is, beautiful female flatty. We're going to let her go now. <laughs>